The Liberals are destroying themselves from within, Parnell. You know these people like the back of your hand. 30 seconds on the clock. I want you to blame the Liberals destroying themselves on the left. Go. Well, clearly the reason the Liberals are ripping themselves apart is because they're trying to bring in people who don't reflect what the base wants to vote for. Like now, women. white middle-class <laughs> men Sorry, yeah. are Sorry, yeah. exactly the demographic that yeah. the plebiscites would be nominating oh, for. Yes. And so all of this woke introduction of women by force into the ranks is absolutely forcing the Liberal Party to tear itself apart, no more quotas. If it's going to be the party of middle-class white men, then so be it. You've already won. We can cancel the rest <laughs> of the show. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, so, I'm serious. Parnell is going to win. Um, Eamon, how has the party managed to stuff this up? Labor wouldn't have this amount of... I mean, the, isn't the beauty of being a collectivist party where people get taken out the back and shot <laughs> is that you have discipline Oh, hang on. No, that's not fair at all, is it? Uh, but but, but how, that, this is ridiculous, isn't it? Would Labor ever let itself get in this position? What would you do if you were running the Libs? This is a next-level stuff-up, I have to say. And I've seen many, many in my time, but it's absolutely... When you do not have people pre-selected to run five seconds from an election, you've got a big problem. So yeah. I would love for someone from the left to take credit for that because what a glorious result this has been. But unfortunately, <laughs> it's liberal infighting. And Todd Hayward, as our um, token white middle-class straight male, um, do you think the Liberal Party... Is Parnell actually right here? Is oh. the attempt to defy the wishes of the rank and file by putting in candidates that are electable? And this is the same problem that the Labor Party has as well because if it's rank and file... We're going to elect every leader. They just elect someone from the left every time. It'd be the Corbyn paradox in the UK that the hard left will always and always vote for someone who is completely unpalatable to the broader mainstream community. Is this a problem with the Liberal Party that its base will always want to throw up, you know, some hard right conspiracy theorist to go up against Zali Stegall, for example? Well, it's a problem with leadership, I think, because Parnell's right. I mean. You there's a point of difference that the Libs have established over many years. And we all know what that is. And the people who join the Liberal Party know what that is. So if you join the Liberal Party and you want to change that to make the Liberal Party like every other party, well, you're diluting the, the major point of difference they have. And that is, you know, that, as Parnell said, they're largely conservative, middle-aged men who look like they know how to run the economy. That's right. We are the party of the straight white male. Embrace it. <laughs> Embrace it. Otherwise, they'll all go to One Nation.